year at CES, health tech is absolutely massive. This time round, though, the focus is really on prevention and bringing all of our data together in one place. Withings devices have been monitoring our health for years, but here's a proof of concept, a way of pulling together all of that health data and then using a large language model to interpret to each of us as individuals what we should glean from it. And here you've got the Withings technology from their scales built into the ground. More good news, your temperature is also in a healthy range. I'll walk you through what you're seeing to help make sense of it. Of course the whole system will be personalised for you with your data. So what it's saying at the moment is all just quite generic because it's one setting. And the idea is that you might be able to talk back and forth. The test score is 75 out of 100. If there are readings that are relevant, you can send them to your doctor. If this was something you were to have in your home, possibly not even presented like this because it's huge, it could be in a tablet or smartphone, then every day you could have analysis of this sort of data. And it's large language models that make this possible, that mean that you can actually have this sort of conversation. But of course, for many, it could actually just cause some anxiety, especially if you're told that you need a doctor's appointment. That's why collecting the right data, seeing how it all interacts with each other and spotting the patterns that emerge are key. And new types of data are making it into the mix too, like ways of quantifying hormones rather than just monitoring their effect. And that's what Eli is really focusing on. Right now, they have test kits available to be able to track cortisol and progesterone levels. But soon, they're going to be working with other hormones as well. All of the data will be stored on your mobile, so you'll start to be able to see those precious patterns and understand how the hormones are interacting with each other. We've created the hormometer similarly to how the thermometer enables to measure uh, temperature. Uh, we measure hormones in saliva. Currently, we have two hormones, cortisol and progesterone. We already have more along the way. And our vision is really to enable to test multiple hormones to enable people to take their health in their own hands. This could be really useful for women who want to understand a drop in progesterone or for people who want to know how stress is affecting them. I tried the hormometer to assess my levels of what's commonly referred to as the stress hormone, cortisol. You need to be doing this at least twice a day, twice a month, and the app will suggest lifestyle changes if needed. Longer term, the aim is to sync information from wearables too. And 20 minutes later, I could find out how stressful or not I'm finding CES. Novel ways of collecting data were aplenty. The toilet tracker seamlessly checking its findings the non-invasive blood glucose monitor using light instead of needles. And booth after booth of smart rings, reinforcing the message that prediction and prevention are the mission and that digital doctoring is the future. There were also old dogs doing new tricks. No, not that one, that's Jenny the robotic puppy. But the humble blood pressure cuff, combined with a pulse pressure monitor and some algorithms, Connect aims to predict your risk of hardening arteries and heart disease. There's been a lot of talk of menopause and perimenopause recently, but most tracking that can be done involves just logging how you're feeling. Here, though, may be a way to quantify it. This device is called Perry, and through four sensors in it, it's taking a lot of readings and its algorithms are correlating hot flushes based on your actual biological data. I know all of this tracking can seem rather exhausting, so how about what you can do in your sleep? Now, I'm not just talking about the regular monitoring of your slumber, but this concept smart bed has a whole host of devices that can sync to it, plus LiDAR sensors, which aim to be able to monitor your heart rate and sleep activity. So whilst you're having a nice snooze, not only is there some aromatherapy available, also the right lighting to wake you up in the morning, but it can monitor your movement. And for anybody at risk of falling, it can also, through its platform, contact the emergency services if anything goes wrong during the night. The mattress itself can also be moved around into all sorts of positions to fit you perfectly. Comfy. Good night.